Welcome to my video review of Payday 2. This version is on the PC. I'm just having a quick look at this today, give you an idea of how I feel the game plays. Now you start the game off and you can select a few missions or go straight to the safe house. I advise going to the safe house because this gives you uh, a chance to practice on some of your skills and it gives you a feel and overview for the game. Now inside you'll notice the texture is actually fairly basic. That was my initial impressions. Um, downstairs you have a sort of mission control area which gives you access to the online crime.net where you can check jobs and assignments. You can also go to the shooting range and practice a bit there. Now there is a special vault where you can collect your cash or loot and over time this will build up. At the minute it's empty, this is just when I first started playing. And there's also an option where you can upgrade and do up the interior of the safe house too. So that opens up a bit more customization. You can also customize masks and things like that. Now, this is the training section just to show you about opening doors. You can see these icons. You've got a screwdriver there and there's a saw. I mean, depending on what equipment you've got, you'll be able to open doors or access safes. Later on your options are much more extensive because you get access to things like explosives and other devices. You can also customise your loadout and weapons as well with the game. Here this is just a room showing you about the drilling or your collection of black and decker drills, whatever you want to call it. Now most of the items are destructible in the game but some aren't. There's just an example here of a couple that aren't. But if you fire bullets at the wall you'll see bits of plaster and concrete come off and the camera there. As I said earlier, the texturing is pretty basic on this. Outside, it's a much more impressive graphical experience because you get lighting effects, but it looks a bit drab inside. Now, you have a couple of options with this, multiplayer or the single player. The single player with the AI is pretty poor, mostly for the reasons that the AI teammates don't really help at all other than protect themselves or to you know shoot cops and things like that. They don't open safes, they don't grab equipment and things like that that you need. So to be honest, the single player is not very good on this. It really does need some work on that. A good area of the game is the gameplay though. Here I'm just going into the bank and you can approach it however you want. If you want to take a stealth approach, that, that is encouraged in many levels. Or if you can just go silly guns blazing like this. Depending on how you tackle the mission, obviously you're not supposed to kill civilians and things like that. It will depend on how much heist money you take out of each job and not all of the jobs are actual robberies you've also got ones where you're escorting things or trying to steal things um, drug running things like that so it's not just bank heists as I said outside I feel the graphics are better there's a, a decent lighting effects it's not really what I would call a graphically intensive game and um, this runs on a pretty low-end card fairly well so you really don't need a lot of power to run the game uh, slightly disappointed inside with the texture now because I thought it was a bit bland and a bit boring but you know it's just one element of the game now once the action starts it's pretty thick and fast um, regarding the AI of the computer um, as I said earlier it's kind of somewhat flawed but it's okay to start off and training um, multiplayer is really where the game shines because there you're gonna have real live players some of whom would be quite experienced and you know a cooperative mode can work extremely well so the actual gameplay is very good once you get into the multiplayer now you notice waves of police if you have activated the alarm it's possible in most of the jobs not to activate it so you won't get a huge response or any response at all and um, so you can play it how you want um, this is one sort of extreme example where they've just gone mad get used to the drill locking up for some reason I don't know why but you know they decided to buy cheap drills and they're professional bank robbers and stuff like that that's perhaps a slightly odd thing to have I don't mind the drill locking up occasionally but every time you try and open the safe three or four times it locks up which means that you can't really wander off too far because you have to come back unless you're playing the multiplayer where a teammate will have to come back to it I think they just added that in to add a bit of uncertainty to the job you're on a clock sometimes and the longer you wait the stronger the waves of police and SWAT teams descend upon you so it gets harder progressively like that with the actual gameplay though and the shooting very nice sound effects good meaty effects and I also found that the dynamics were good as well as in the shooting seems sort of semi-realistic at least so although it's more of a, 
arcade type experience there's sort of basic principles apply as in looking for cover um, trying to reload at appropriate times and your equipment expands significantly later on so at the start you're really limited to just a basic assault rifle and a pistol but later on you've got much more scope for weapons which gives you an incentive to play there's also a decent bit of variation in the locations it's not just set in banks you have quite a few different areas here we're trying to transport some drugs and we've been hit with the SWAT teams and police I think perhaps the weakest part of the game which I said earlier was a single player not really something which I would have bothered including to be honest the may as well just had a few training missions or something but once you get into the multiplayer um, it actually becomes a very good game for me my overall score on this would be the graphics about six I think the texturing inside is a bit bland the music I found okay but it did kind of drag after a while and I turned it off but the FX was solid good gunshots and explosions things like that the gameplay was also enjoyable with the multiplayer so it's definitely worth checking out but it does need a bit of work to bring it up to the full potential that it could have